The Corriente cattle are something that rodeo guys really like to have for practice with roping and stuff. We got the Corriente herd probably about six or seven years ago. Kind of sparked an interest with several locals around, you know, that wanted to, to have some to practice with before they went to actual rodeo. It's worked out really well. They're kind of a Spanish breed of cattle and smaller frame cattle. They're very hardy. We've just really enjoyed watching them and mingling them in with our regular commercial beef cattle. There wasn't really anybody that raised them around here, so we thought, you know, it would be something interesting that we could do. And they're easy to keep, easy calvers, and the meat is really lean. We actually process some. We usually put one up each year. We really like the quality of the meat, too, because it's much leaner meat than just regular hamburger. They'll eat a lot more than other cows will eat, you know, they'll, they're more prone to eat briars and things, you know, that these other cows won't eat. You really don't have to worry about their feet as far as foot rot or even getting a long toe or something, you know, it just it typically, it hasn't happened with us anyway. We haven't had any problems with that. They don't really require a whole lot of feed. They can pretty well self-sustain, you know, as long as they've got water and we make sure that they stay up on any vaccines and wormings and stuff that they need. We don't take any through rodeo ourselves. You know, we sell to local people here that want some to practice with at home before they go to competitions and stuff. It gives them an opportunity to, to be able to purchase something and, you know, they'll, they'll use them for a while until they're roped out and maybe give us an option to either buy them back or they'll process them themselves or, or send them on somewhere else. On the Corrientes, it's, it's a lot less than, you know, you would typically get. A Corriente usually probably caps out about 700 or 750 pounds. If you take a 500 pound, 600 pound at the most calf, then you're going to end up probably about 150, 200 pounds of meat. I thank God for allowing me to have that opportunity to, to be able to have a family and run a farm together like this. Um, I enjoy being able to work with them and thankful to have the opportunity to have all the property and stuff around that we've been able to acquire over the past 23 years that we've been making this family. I got my first two cows when I was 15 and I actually still have some of the stock from that original set of cows. We've kind of switched over to, we've been breeding everything to Hereford bulls. Um, that was another project that we, we kind of got into was we had some registered Herefords, still have a couple. We have a registered Hereford bull and then a couple of registered Hereford females um, that my daughters have used to show. Small operations help large operations. And no matter how small your operation is, be thankful for it and don't give up on it. Because, I mean, you know, I started out when I was 15 years old with two cows. And over the years, this is what it's grown to. Kind of, we've done the best we could and made it fun. <laughs>